I look like a cross between a lumberjack and a street dancer. And I don't think I suit either of those. <coughs> hey guys, now if you're expecting a horrifically embarrassing story about how I was enlightened to the glorious world of that, then I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I actually never had the talk. Now I trust you know the talk that I'm talking about. I mean the one that you're supposed to get from your parents when you're about to blossom into a young spotty teenager about how your body's gonna change and how you're gonna have sex and you're gonna get pregnant and you're gonna die. But because I didn't get that talk from my parents, I acquired all of my knowledge from the good old fashioned internet. Probably not the smartest idea, the internet's a shady place. Side note, I once tried to enter a competition on the Disney Store website and you had to type in this code and I did it and it redirected me to porn. I was nine. I'm still scarred. I mean the internet can be a good source for this kind of thing because I mean you can get more than one opinion and it's definitely 10 out of 10 less embarrassing than talking to your parents about it. But when I turn out to be an axe wielding psychopath and my doctor asks about my past It'll definitely trace back to Tumblr. That is a dark, dark place. And to be honest, I don't really know why my parents never gave me the talk. Maybe they did and it was just so horrific that I've just repressed all of the memories. That could work. But if they had given me the talk, then I can only imagine it would have gone something like this. Mum, how are babies made? Well, dear, when a boy and a girl love each other very much, they have, um special cuddles and they make a baby hmm. seems legit okay maybe i wouldn't have said that or maybe they haven't given me the talk yet because they haven't gone round to it and it's still to come And to be honest, I can't really remember that much about having sex education in school either. Okay, that is definitely because of repressed memories. The only thing I can remember is being shown a couple of pictures of cartoon people having sex to show us what it looked like. And then when I got home, I proceeded to tell my mother in the most enthusiastic way possible while she laughed at my naivety. No wonder I'm scarred. But that is a story for another time because, oh my God, that was embarrassing. This is the advice -y part. Advicey is a word. Shut up. Boobs, whether they're big or they're small or you decide to show them off or cover them up, you're definitely going to get judged for it. Society. There is no escape. Penis scissors. scissors, scissors. I don't really have much experience with having one of those, surprisingly. But if you do want good advice about them, then I suggest you avoid friends, Yahoo Answers, porn, and generally anything else on the internet. You're welcome. Periods, where well, hey, everybody's favorite topic. You know all of those tampon adverts that you see on TV where the girls are all jumping around and being all enthusiastic and stuff? That is a lie. When you're on your period, all you wanna do is drown yourself in ice cream, watch Netflix alone and cry, whilst eating paracetamol like candy in the hope that the pain will go away. Yay. So yeah sex and stuff. If you enjoyed this video and you found it strangely helpful in some way, then let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below your awkward and embarrassing stories about getting the talk, whether it's from parents or whether it was sex education at school. Just tell me so that I feel less awkward about myself. Thanks. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down there if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next week. Bye losers!